all right um cancer pisces scorpio this is going to be your message for august they're going to be a little bit longer than the mini reads but not as long as like you know how you, when i first started the readings were like 30 something minutes i'm trying to keep them like 20 or under under 20 preferably for like a, new, a long meeting but yes, it's going to be um, for my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios, my war designs. And this is just going to be for maybe what you guys, you know, need to know for August. Preferably Leo season. We got Aquarius showing up. Leo as well. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, it's a general message, so not everything may resonate with you, and that's okay. Leave it for someone it may resonate with who may need it. I already shuffled, but I like to be a little bit extra thorough when I shuffle. We got Gemini and Leo energy here. <laughs> water wow oh and pisces is right here i love when i did aries leo and sagittarius all those all their signs came up first sag then leo then um aries energy had came out last um but yeah i love when i'm doing um particular signs or elements and their energy just shows up in the reading i love that um we have intuition Feelings, purification, soul, unconscious, introspection. Okay. And then Pisces, connect to your intuition, to art, your imagination, every world. Um, I should imagine every world. Sorry, I don't even know what words that, that I even said. Um, let's do my water science kids. We have fire, okay. Action, vitality, impulse, passion, will, desire, enthusiasm, which is very fitting for Leo season. Some of you may be needing to, um, I'll, hold on, I'll get into it. We have Mercury, the messenger. Intellect, mind, thoughts, communication, interaction. We got Chiron here. A wound can become a healing tool. The wounded healer. Mm, some of my um, water signs, you guys could be healers yourselves. You guys could be readers. Um, you guys could be, um, you guys can do something in that realm, uh, in the realm of realm. <laughs> in the, excuse me, in the realm <laughs> of, you guys could be, you guys could do something in that realm of things, right? Um, you guys could be medicine women or men. Um, some of you guys could have very healing hands. Um, you guys could just have like, you guys, you know, maybe you guys work with, maybe you guys do a lot of Reiki or you guys, um, maybe you are um, massage therapists, maybe you guys just maybe work with your hands. Maybe you guys like use your hands to help people in some way. Um, maybe you guys grow herbs. I don't know if you got, you know, it can be anything. Um, anything that's considered healing, I feel like. Um, you guys could be in that realm of things in that field um, or maybe you guys are like wanting to move into that a little bit more um, but I feel a lot of healing energy from you guys um, right now I feel like a lot of you guys are very healing or at least have the potential to be um, if you choose to purify parts of yourself so with the water here the intuition feelings purification soul unconscious and introspection I feel like for the month of August, preferably Leo season. Um, and similar to um, fire signs about the intuition, but I feel like this is different for you guys because I feel like you guys are, some of you guys are on the right path. Some of you are very aligned and you're starting to purge 
what is needed. Some of you guys, this can be in relation to your um, gut. Some of you guys can be doing some working on your gut health at this time um, because your gut health is everything. Your gut health, you know, what guts are our second brains, right? Um, and I feel like sometimes if you're feeling lethargic, if you don't feel like you have the vitality, the will, the energy, the, you know, the ability to act on things, a lot of it could be like a sluggish digestive system, um, thyroid, it can be, it can be any one of those things. But I feel like um, a lot of you need to kind of go within a bit and purify something or some things. Right, and I feel like this can be things on like the subconscious level. These are things that's like on a cellular level, on a soul level. Um, a lot of feelings may be coming up, and this could have been a result from the Aquarius full moon that we have. Um, we do have a new moon in Leo on the eighth, eight eight. Um, so definitely, um, if, especially if you're looking to manifest things and you're looking to um like get stuff moving uh, hopefully you guys are cleansing your guts at this time i feel like a lot of you need to cleanse your gut health your gut right now focus on gut health um and we have action vitality impulse passion will desire enthusiasm then we have mercury intellect mind thoughts communication interaction the messenger let's see mm -hmm. my water science cancer pesky scorpio We will flew out. We have bi-quintal, creativity, personal power, specialty to unfold. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are healers in some way. Yeah, specialty to unfold. Um, and it could be something creative, but this it's some creative but in the realm of like healing, the realm of like medicine, um, something with the body, Reiki, um, yeah, and something that you get it's a pers it's a it's a personal power that a lot of you guys have that you guys haven't tapped into. And I in cleanse and like doing some gut like um purifying your gut health, like doing some um working on your gut health for um August. You know, Leo rules the heart, right? But also um Leo is ruled by the sun and the sun rules the solar plexus. So the solar plexus is you know that's the color that involves yellow and also it's um at it's behind the navel it sits behind the navel it deals with digestion willpower vitality um desire action it deals with confidence and, you know all those things um creativity all that so i feel like um if a lot of you guys can um focus on your gut health and really cleanse it's gonna really help with your intuition a lot of you need to drink more water a lot of you could be really dehydrated also um, and that can be why you guys are feeling a bit fatigued if you are, or feeling just like really sluggish and tired, but, um, drink water. Um, but I feel like, um, a lot of you guys are tapping into like your healing abilities sooner than later. So remember time is fluid. So although we're doing this message, we're doing this reading in August, some you know and i've had readings done i've like had people do readings for me and i'm like what the fuck are they talking about i'm like this is not i'm like what and then like in two months or like six months or something whatever you know it, i'm like oh shit i go back to the reading i'm like oh damn that really did happen um so you know remember time is fluid when it comes to um energy and when it comes to tarot and things and just like or you know just these type of messages um okay oops we got oh yay scorpio energy all and then we have um seventh house libra and then pluto and then we got mars and aries um but seventh house libra union partnerships love and compromise yeah but um we have scorpio here so we got some water. So we got more water energy. Get to the bottom of things. Affirm your power. Transform. Yeah, so again, I feel like a lot of you, when it comes to this fire energy, this, you know, that masculine energy, getting things done. Um, I feel like before you guys go forth with something, this is for a few of you, before you go forth with something, before you, like, agree to something, don't do, don't make any impulsive decisions for August, I would say. 
Don't make any impulsive decisions. Don't do anything impulsive for this month of August. I feel like you guys need to get to the bottom of things. I, and then we got like power here. A lot of you guys um, don't be so quick to share your energy and share your space with people. Right? Um, yeah, I feel like you guys really, it's something that you guys really want. And I feel like I'm talking to, like, my feminine water signs. Like, I'm talking to my ladies right this quick second. I mean, this message is for the men and women. But, if, like, for this quick, quick, what I'm about to say really quick, I feel like it's for my ladies. I feel like for my lady, for my female water signs, um, don't be don't be such in a rush to share your space with someone. And don't be such in a rush to um, quickly, like... Don't make impulsive decisions at this time. And if for my male water signs, if you're on that type of time to reconsider, don't be so quick. You know, I don't know if you guys are dealing with fire sign. Don't be so quick or a fellow water sign. Don't be so quick to make, um, to make decisions. Don't be so quick. Don't just, I just don't make any impulsive decisions. But that's, I don't just put it like that. I don't want to like just say a whole bunch of stuff. That doesn't make sense. What I would say is, what I'm being shown here is, don't make any impulsive decisions for August. Um, I feel like, you know, assert your boundaries with people, stick to that, and we do have transform here. So, um, again, purification, do some introspection. Um, many of you need some time to yourselves right now. Many of you need to kind of really listen to your intuition and see what your feelings are really telling you. A lot of you guys have been so focused on what you want. You've been putting your, you've been putting your intuition and your feelings on a back burner. You've been putting your subconscious and your, you know, there's certain things that you're doing on a subconscious level that you don't even realize that you're doing that can be blocking certain things. Especially like your, you know, if you're if you feel like you've been really moody lately. I really feel like it's because you guys have been giving so much to other people or just haven't been tapping into um, your your own energy, not nurturing yourself. You've been, you guys have been so focused on getting things done, which is great, but don't forget to um, affirm your power by retreating a bit, okay? Detriment. Learn new rules and adapt yourself and adapt yourself to them. Yeah, so, and then we have Taurus here. Then we have first house, which is Aries. Um, Taurus, find your stability, your security, connect to sensual pleasures. Um, learn new rules and adapt yourself to them. Yeah, intellect, mind, thoughts, communication, interaction. Um, and a lot of you need, a lot of you are learning or needing to learn right now um how to open up your mind how to be more like i don't know you guys are and for some of you guys could be um you guys are going to be around new people maybe new friends a new environment um and you're going to be needing to uh, you know adapt to your new environment adapt to new people some of you need to adapt to the way you communicate some of you need to uh, you know like really change your thoughts and how you think about things how you think about people um your interactions like the way you communicate with others the way you communicate with yourself emotionally um that's something that may need to change you're gonna have to um figure out new ways of talking to yourself talking to other people especially if you're trying to make things happen if you're wanting one thing but then you speak to yourself in a different way or you think of someone else in a different way how do you expect that to be cohesive to you know how do you expect that to mix with each other it's just not gonna work it's like oil and water right so it's like if you're wanting one thing, readjust your thoughts to the very thing that you want. And um, you got and again, which I feel like is always um, that shows up for you guys is stability, your security. Again, I feel like it's like the same thing, especially um, Scorpio. Um, a lot of stability or whatever it is you guys are searching for is things that you aren't even giving to yourselves but you know that's something that you guys have to figure out on your own time
And also, don't be afraid to be the person that says things that everyone else is afraid of saying, too. Who cares who doesn't want to hear it or who doesn't like it? You know, um, learn something new for August. Do something different. Learn something. Pick one thing that you've been wanting to learn or read and focus on that for August. Water signs. Yeah, diligence is here. Delight. Yeah, definitely get to the bottom of things. Get to the bottom of things. Don't just... Yeah, get to the bottom of things. I was telling Pisces this in their last... Um, in their mini read. And maybe it wasn't this one that just happened, but the one before a couple of weeks ago to get to the bottom of things. Make, again, make sure you guys, if you're signing um, documents, make sure you're looking things over. And just don't... Don't get in, don't start anything this, don't like, don't make rash decisions this month. If this has been something that you've been like already working towards for like some time, then cool, but don't rush into anything. That's just my advice. I mean, y'all grown, I can't tell y'all what to do. Um, y'all grown ass people. A message for the water signs. Can't, ooh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Message for the water signs. And if you guys are worried about stability or finances, just just go have fun. Um, to, oh my God, uh, secure we got security. I can't make this up. Water signs, we got security, and a lot of your your a lot of your feelings of lack of security is really emotional. A lot of you guys weren't didn't really have the emotional security you wanted as kids. So you guys overcompensate that when it comes to material things and money to the point where a lot of you guys hoard things, clothes, shoes, partners, um, money and and just all types of things just to feel secure and still feeling emotionally empty and voided inside. A lot of you didn't get the emotional security and stability and calmness that you needed as children, so you guys overcompensate. Again, if you are folk, if you're worried about stability or security when it comes to love, finances, or anything material, tap into your emotions and start there first. That's my advice to you, um, water signs. I'm just saying. Message for the water signs. Message for the water signs. Message for the water signs. New beginnings. Yeah, some of you guys are, um, again, if you're, especially if you're moving to different environments, um, apartments, whatever it is, make sure before you sign anything, don't do anything impulsive. Make sure you guys get to the bottom of things. Read the fine print. Um, and yeah, some of you guys are going to be, um, transforming in these new environments that you guys are going to be embarking on. Um, I love this. Yeah. New beginnings. A lot of you guys are going undergoing new beginnings at this time. And it's really nice. And it's going to, you got and different people are going to have different things that are new for them, but whatever it is, that's really nice for you guys. Um, I think it's going to bring you guys a lot of action, a lot of, um, energy sometimes a change of scenery change of jobs change of relationships um shit change of self and we have community yeah i got and also you guys need to learn um i would say learn how to commute again communicate with others and um your interactions with other people we got purity purification is here I don't know if you guys can see it. And then we have Purify. So you guys are really, again, Purify, Purify, Purify water signs. And, you know, everybody has their own way of doing that. So I can message for the water signs, Pilsen, Pisces, and Scorpio. But um, I like these colors with the community and new beginnings. These are really, really pretty. Very pretty. Oh, oops. Um, Yeah. Sorry, we got same
we got connect with your ancestors yeah a lot of you guys had um pretty um childhoods that were a little um chaotic and again connect to yeah and i feel like sometimes you know connecting ancestors this could just mean connecting back to yourself connecting to the roots of yourself also you know and remember leo rules the fifth house the fifth the fifth house is children so you know you're in a child you could be needing to reconnect with as well build that security with your inner child don't just go around trying to hoard lovers money and like shoes clothes and stuff that's not going to do anything for you we have movement yeah i got a lot of you guys could be actually moving right a lot of you guys could be um starting workout routines or wanting to um again you guys could be starting new jobs or like like when it comes to the body in some way reiki um massage therapy anything um some of yeah something with the body you guys are learning that you guys are really good at healing other people but you know always start with yourself first right and then we have deep breathing yeah a lot of you need to gain more patience when it comes to dealing with other people and speaking with others um, a lot of you are kind of um, short-tempered, very short with people, very impatient. You get annoyed easily. Um, yeah, that's not yeah, that's not going to serve you well. Um, you know, make sure before you answer, you know, before you reach out to someone or before you reply back to someone, especially if you're upset, you know, take time and really think about your reply, okay? Um, and, you know, do some breath work guys inspect you know she's like holding a hard space here okay so um i hope this helps see you guys next time bye